Hi everyone, this is my math and science lesson plan on the environmental effects on, uh, on plants. The lesson objective is the students will be able to successfully gather and interpret data to determine the effects that various environmental factors play on the growth of plants. The students will be able to make predictions about changes in plant development. So the science standards I chose um, for third grade are students know plants and animals have structures that serve different functions in growth, survival, and reproduction. And students know when the environment changes, some plants and animals survive and reproduce while others die or move to new locations. Um, for the math standards, I chose me uh, measure and estimate liquid volumes and masses of objects using standard units of grams, kilograms, and liters. Add and subtract, multiply, or divide to solve one-step word problems invol involving masses or volumes that are given in the same units. Um, I also chose the standard generate measurement data by measuring lengths using rulers marked in halves and fourths of an inch. Show the data by making a line plot where the horizontal scale is marked off in appropriate units, whole numbers, halves, and qu or quarters. For the learning outcome, um, the teacher will utilize a checklist rubric, checklist, checklist, or rubric, rubric to observe the skills the students have met. And the students will also document their findings through charts, images, and uh, videos, and other posts on a blog. Um, the students will be able to answer questions and engage in a class discussion through the duration of the activity also. So the description of habits of mind, um, I thought appropriate were thinking inter interdependently. The students will be, should be working well within groups to complete the activity, striving for accuracy, checking for errors by measuring multiple times, questioning and posing problems, asking themselves questions and considering what information is needed, including strategies to obtain new information. So some materials we would need are germinated seeds, small pots, rulers, potting soil, table salt, table salt, um, one liter measuring cylinder, UVA slash UV heat lamp, refrigerated, uh, refrigerator or cool room, a computer or tablet with internet access, and the book a sleepy uh, see to sleepy by Diana Hutz Ashton, which there's also a YouTube video of the reading, so that is also an option. Um, another option, the vocabulary list would be uh, salinity, drought, conditions, germinate, stress, temperature, humidity, adaptation, measure, and environment. So for the I do um, anticipate anticipatory set, um, I would ask the students questions or I'd ask the student the question, how can a plant be changed by its environment? Um, I would also introduce and read the book, A Sleepy, A Seed is Sleepy. We would re, or I would review parts of the plants, um, probably using a projector or um, a, like the computer projector. I explain the difference, the different process, processes that plants can undergo when the environment changes, making sure to use images. Discuss how certain plants learn to adapt um, to certain weather and environmental conditions. I would also show the YouTube video plant structures and adaptions. Um, then I would follow that by asking the students what environmental conditions have our local plants learned to adapt to? What do you think would happen if that changed? And then we would, I would finally introduce the activity um, and then split the students into groups of four. For the we do modeling section, we would dem uh, I would demonstrate to each group um, like how to set up the mini plant environments um, and provide an example of each plant display and then we would also I would also show the students how to measure and record plant growth on the provided chart. For guided practice um, I would assist students in creating their own kid blog to determine their findings or to document their findings and have students record their observations noting the height of plants, number of leaves, degree of wilting, color of leaves, and any other symptoms such as spotting on leaves browning, uh, and browning of the leaf tips. Um, to check for understanding, I would have the students create a poster or single slide presentation illustrating the possible effects of the environment on plants. The you do um, inter uh, independent practice, students will observe and record their data onto their blogs daily, making sure to take pictures and discuss the changes bet between um, their plants. Then at the end of the lesson, the students will present their findings using their blog and charts that they have created. The assignment will, um, or homework would be to have the students go on a scavenger hunt at home looking for signs of plant adaption in their neighborhoods or even their backyards um, or lack of 
plant adoption, so if there are seed plants that are dying, um, and take a picture and explain what that adaption is and then bring that into class. And then here's just a, a sample of a chart that they would possibly be using to document all these changes.